story okay. about a team, for you. whether it's related to basketball or softball or fishing or scuba diving, and I know there's at least one story there. Please save them for the year of his retirement party, which is 2027. <laughs> Again, give or take. Before we begin the uh, formal part of our presentation and talking more about you, we'd like to make a few announcements. First of all, unfortunately, we were unable, at Gene's request, to sit the Sox fans in the hallway. We had to put them in the gym. I'm sorry, Gene. But given last night and what's happening tonight, you probably want them in the gym to glow a little bit. At this time, we'd like to recognize our sponsors. We had a goal a few months ago of 22,000 for our sponsorship, and a few weeks ago we passed that, and at this point have exceeded that by at least 20%. We are grateful for all of our sponsors here. I'd like to direct you to the program, please. I'd like to read individually the names. And like graduation, please do not applaud after every name. We ask that you hold your applause and wait till all the names have been read, and at that time, we'd like to ask for a round of applause. Uh, without them, this great event would not be able to take place. So we'd like to recognize and thank the following people. For our event sponsors, Platinum Sponsors, Cassidy Tires, Quest Food Management, Richmond Electric, the Lentz family, our gold sponsors, Karen and Tommy Begg of the class of 64, the law offices of Randall B. Rebo, the Cyrus Pelega family, Production Plus, and the Vosicky family, our silver sponsors, Bob Bastians from 66, the Phelan family, Don and Teresa Raymer from 64, Rocco and Rocco Salon and Day Spa, the Tortorich family, the Tunney family, the Weigel family, our bronze sponsors, Diane Guido Berner, MyHM Class of 70, Burke Beverage, Wayne and Marianne Drought, Gatto's and Frankie Gatto from 83, Tommy Gilroy from 76, and Miller Coors, Tom and Nancy Hayes from the Class of 76, the Kasperzak family, Robert A. McNichols from 68 and McNichols Insurance Agency, George L. McNichols from the class of 69, the Politka family, Bruce Shamulas from 76 and Rose Packing Company, Winkler's Tree and Landscaping Company with Vince and Joan Winkler. We'd like a round of applause and thank you very much for all of our sponsors. A few other announcements we'd like to make. One of our graduates from the class of 2002 is running in the Chicago Marathon tomorrow. And God bless his Catholic guilt. He came to us about six to eight months ago. He said, Mr. Q, I feel real bad. I didn't make the most of my four years at St. Joe's. I tortured a few teachers. And this young man said, I would like to get the word out and if we can get pledges, I'd like to donate them on behalf of the financial aid program at St. Joseph High School. Uh, Angel uh, and his family, like Gene, is re relocated from Cicero to Westchester. He works for the village of Stickney. He's a firefighter. And uh, he will be running in tomorrow's uh, marathon. He did say he was going to be here, but I haven't seen him yet. Angel, are you out here? I will say that uh, a few of his friends threw him a party on Rush Street last night, which was probably not a good idea. <laughs> so we did say, Angel, if you can't uh, run it, uh, drive it, and it will come. <laughs> so good luck, Angel. Uh, if he's here somewhere, can I still ask for a round of applause for Angel Martinez? Good luck tomorrow, Angel. On your way out this evening, for those of you who have not uh, claimed your bobblehead, there will be a little slip of paper 
reminding you that if you want to still contribute to our Angel's uh, donation, it has the website on there. So if you're interested, take one of those small sheets of paper, paper at the table where they're given the bobbleheads. Speaking of bobbleheads, I have another important announcement. One of our faculty members, where's Mary? Mary Lacoste, where are you? Mary uh, told me on Monday that there is a National Bobblehead Museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I emailed them, and yesterday we received uh, an email back that Gene Pingator will be in the National Bobblehead Museum. That's the good news. <laughs> the bad news is he's not yet in the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame. <laughs> so uh, they required me to send a bobblehead, which I will do on Tuesday, and they will uh, look at the information I'm send sending them. I am sure with a certain milestone coming up in the season that that will put you over the top and you will be a member of the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame. And won't it be great, Gene, that out of all the Hall of Fames you have been inducted into, or will be, that most of the people here tonight will remember Gene as a member of the National Bobble Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's one. Isn't that great? I'd like to direct your attention, although many of you have seen it already, to our wonderful slideshow that uh, Stephanie, with the help of Jean's family, has put together. There are a lot of pictures up there uh, about uh, St. Joseph High School, um, Jean's family, and Jean's friends. So we're going to say a little bit about those tonight, but mostly it's going to be about family. So to hasten our celebration, I'd like to introduce Brother Thomas Harding, President of St. Joseph High School. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our St. Joseph High School campus. Prior to dinner together during this very pleasant birthday fest event and reunion, kind of a reunion of sorts, in honor and recognition of our Gene Pingator, as you know, so many of our alums and past parents have realized that our value that we always start classes, assemblies, meetings, team practices, etc., with prayer. And as we get underway, I, I, I will do that tonight, but I also want to express my gratitude for your presence here this evening and acknowledge the successes and the achievements of our students, our faculty, our school leadership, which continue to be earned and recognized, and about which we are all very proud, justly proud. Our Charger Scholars continue to embrace the value of our St. Joseph school motto, which so many of you in this room will recall fondly. Vincent Quay Labre, he conquers, we conquer, who labors. And thanks to Gene Pingator and the founding faculty, led by Brother Ambrose Grobel in the day, who very wisely chose that model, that expression, for our St. Joseph community. As we begin our celebration this evening, we express our thanks to our administrative assistants, Stephanie Morton and Kathy Taylor, who are our hostesses tonight, and to uh, Tony Petrochi, Mr. Q, LaQ, and Joel, Joel Colder, our Director of Advancement. Together as a team, they've been hosting and uh, organizing this special event for Gene. And I'd like to put, say a special shout out to those alums and past parents who traveled in to St. Joe's from out of the area. Thanks so much for being with us and fending Gene in, in this way. We really appreciate that. So, shall we pray? As our Lord said to his own disciples, where two or three are banded together, so I'll be present there in the midst of you. You know, the grace of God can come to all of us who are together in this one place tonight, here at, the, in, at this very moment. A union such as this is sort of miracle working, and only good, only positive outcome can, 
can come through us, brought together in a unified group like ourselves tonight, for a single mind and a single purpose this evening, as together with our hearts we look to the future while remembering our past. And we hope to do the Lord's will always. So we pray in gratitude for the blessings which both Coach Pigator and our St. Joseph community continue to receive, and we're humbled by those gifts. Gifts which sustain us, such as our own continued good health, our sense of safety and well-being, and the success we personally experience and enjoy. We pray for those requesting our intercessions, as we remember at this time, deceased benefactors, alumni, past faculty, coaches, past parents of our St. Joseph community. And finally, we're thankful to the staff of Quest for the preparation and serving of our buffet, for their gracious and generous hospitality. We're grateful for the other generous event sponsors, as Mr. Pugh read, for their own benefaction to this grand event and birthday celebration. We pray all these needs in the Lord's name. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. And with Jesus in our hearts. Thank you, brother. A short word about Jean and St. Joseph High School. If you know Jean, you'll appreciate what I'm going to say. Jean was furious when he could not go to the first football game this season because of something keeping him away. It was the first football home, the first football game of the season that he's missed in over 50 years. If you know Gene, you've seen him at football games, soccer games, plays, and in the day at all the band concerts, at all the Christmas cantatas. He was there, and he still is. As hard as he works to make his program successful, I don't know of anyone else in the history of this school who's ever wanted as much for all programs to be successful and for the well-being of all St. Joseph Chargers. That's what makes Gene Pingator special. So Gene, on behalf of the Christian Brothers, St. Joseph Board of Directors, administration, faculty and staff, current and former faculty, alumni, and most of all, our students. Thank you for your dedication, passion, and energy. Happy birthday, Jean, on behalf of St. Joseph High School. As you know, we recently initiated a Vinci Key Labrat Scholarship on behalf of Jean, Vinci Kilabra who conquers who labors, and in the brief amount of time that we've had to announce the scholarship and ask for donations, we are pleased tonight to announce that we have an excess of $25,000 to give to St. Joseph High School on behalf of Jean Pinotor. A little word about his friends. On the slideshow again, pictures of Gene at St. Joe's, pictures of his friends. One of the slides will come up, will say Galena 2016. This picture was taken only six days ago, last Sunday. When we're all together, there are 17 of us that every year go up to Galena for three days of friendship. We go to the winery, play golf, go back to the winery, <laughs> play bocce ball, go back to the winery, and of course there's bags and cards and a lot of other games. It's just a, a, a magic weekend of friendship, and Gene is a special part of that group. And if you take that number that, that go to Galena and times it by 10, maybe 20, you'll have a, a good number that represents all the people who call Gene Pinotor his friend. So on behalf, Gene, of all your friends, 
those with us this evening and those for one reason or another unable to be here tonight. Thank you for your fellowship, your compassion, and your humor. We love you. Happy birthday. so much joy to so many people, but has been such an intricate part of our lives. I, I just, I am overwhelmed with happiness. I am overwhelmed with joy. I can't think of a better life than to the life that I have experienced in Lisa and, and the rest of our families, my brother Nick, who got the, the pleasure of playing for him. Um, though he couldn't take a charge. So, <laughs> um, the, the unbelievable, unbelievable um, respect and admiration. There's a term my uncle used to use. He, would, he taught me so many things I, could, I can't. He also hit me a lot with that ring on the, on the head. He taught me so many but he says, you know, that's not chivil. Chivil is, is, uh, is, uh, is class. Is the way to walk into a room, is the way to represent your family. Um, the Christian brothers, and I, my uncle could be a brother, for, for all I know. I mean, I, as much as, as uh, the respect that we have for that, for the, for the brothers, and, and the love we have for the organization, it, it's, I cannot say enough. Unc, thank you for being Unc. Thank you for being a caring, loving, compassionate person for dedicating your life to, to young people playing ball, going to school, in the old building and now the new. We are all better because of having you in our lives. And I, I love you so much. And I can't say any more than that. Of course, 
just not interrupting me, you know, that's all I can see. That's what I mean. No, I, I just, maybe I can get one sentence <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dad, and I thank you for all that you've taught me and my kids. And we love you from the bottom of our hearts. Make sure you take a look at those pictures of a, of a man's life, and especially the one where we're all on the front lawn. Well, I love that picture. You cannot know how much fun and happiness happened in that house, and in, and in this house. So with that, I would like to start to sing happy birthday. So please, everyone join me. A one, a two. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gino. Happy birthday to you. Now with that, our family has a little fun thing we like to do. Here's the key, here at last, here's the key, he's always the best. <laughs> I, uh, first, I'd like to thank all of you for coming out to our first Oktoberfest. Thanks for coming out for uh, to help celebrate my 80th, 80th birthday. I, a year ago, I never thought that uh, I was going to be celebrating my 80th in such a grand style. In fact, <laughs> They told me this uh, in March. If they were planning to do this, I told Stephanie, I said, I think I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> um, personally, being together with all of you means a lot to me. There's nothing better than getting together with family and friends. And that's what we're all about, all of us. 57 years ago, when I came back to Chicago from Los Angeles, I decided I wouldn't go back to Los Angeles and make my life there. I wanted to stay here because of family and friends. As a result, I began 57 years ago at St. Joseph, September 1960. Little did I know that 56 years plus later that I'd still be here. Would you believe that other than a, a few times I was sick, in 1966, Terry Gilmer gave me the mumps when I was home. <laughs> True story. And a couple other times I was sick. But not one day other than those times I was sick, that I get up in the morning and said, I don't feel like going in today. I never had that feeling. So how blessed am I to have that kind of a job? You all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the time spent here has been very, very special because of you, my family, my friends, and the many new friends that I've made over the years. It's been special because of the students, the faculty, the staff, 
that I had the privilege to work with. It's been special because of the great kids I've had the pleasure to coach and the wonderful coaches that we've had over the years, past and present, that I had to work with. Being able to share 56 years, 56 plus years, I'm in my 57th now, with my involvement with you has been a very, very, has made my time here very, very special. I love St. Joseph. I love all of you. St. Joseph is a special place because of you. With your help and support, it's going to remain special for many years to come. I have a few thank yous. Again, Tony Q has done a great job thanking all our sponsors, but I'd like to thank all of our sponsors and, and contributors. It's not, it's not about my birthday, it's about St. Joseph High School. And the fact that we raised $25,000 for the scholarship is just fantastic. Thank you. I'd like to thank all of my wonderful assistant coaches, past and present. And incidentally, the only coach I ever worked for, Pat Callahan. Patrick, stand up. I want to talk about a great coach and a great human being. I learned a lot from Pat. And of course, all the wonderful players that. We all had the privilege to coach. I want to thank them for allowing us to do that. I'd like to thank all of our people in the development office that put this event on. Tony Q, brother, Tom, Joel Calder, and especially Stephanie and Kathy. Stephanie Martin and Kathy Taylor. Wonderful people to work with. How about a round of applause for that? Funds raised this evening will help a number of students remain at St. Joseph High School, which is very really important. I'd like to thank, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my family and friends for their love and support over the 56 years of involvement with me and St. Joseph High School. That's key. A special thank you to my sister. Sandy, who's probably been involved with every, mm -hmm. everything I've ever done here. Poor Sandy. so much for St. Joseph, people don't realize. I want to thank my daughter, my son-in-law, Mike, for wonderful grandchildren for their love and support. It takes a lot of love and support when you're a teacher and coach because of the kind of schedule you have. And especially thank you for the love of my life, Joe. I want to thank you for putting up with all the craziness and coaching for the past 20 years. And finally, I want to thank all of you for all of your support 
and all the things he said, you do that for me, but for St. Joseph High School, you're wonderful to me. I'll never forget you. And I love you all. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Really. And all I can say is, don't charge us. Yeah.